So we're in the midst of individual open enrollment season and all kinds of different choices are out there. It can be confusing no matter how unique your medical situation, there is help out there if you need it. So here's what's new this year. And to tell us more about that, Mary McHale from the Washington Health Benefit Exchange and Daphne Pye from the Public Health of Seattle and King County. Thank you both. There's Thank lots you. to ask. So what does this apply to first of all? Um, who are we talking about? Who's buying right now? We're talking about individuals in Washington State who need to get um, health insurance coverage. And that could be anybody who is self-employed, somebody who works for an employer that doesn't offer health insurance. We have a number of options out there for all the folks in Washington State who need our services. Important to know. So if you have health insurance through your job, this is not you, but for everybody else who needs to get health insurance. When is the open enrollment period? Open enrollment is now through December 15th, and we strongly encourage folks to get online, wahealthplanfinder.org. Do not wait till the last day to enroll. <laughs> there are many options available, and make sure you give yourself enough time to sort through them. Okay, so we're looking at the homepage right now. What are some of the other sort of key resources that can help us with enrollment? So we have a number of in-person assisters available to help people. We have navigators across the state. We have insurance brokers that can recommend plans. And if folks go to our website, they can access these services. They can check out enrollment events that are happening in their communities, or they can get help figuring out which plans are available for them. Perfect. Daphne, tell us a little mm -hmm. bit more about what the navigators are and how, sure. how these folks work with us. Because different people want to, you know, maybe they want to talk on the phone or they want to compare things online. Mm -hmm. We're all different in how we absorb that information. Yeah, so we have navigators throughout the state. Um, within King County, we have about 273 navigators who are trained to understand which program someone could be eligible for. So all of the navigators, they're trained, they're certified, they're tested. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to help people enroll into coverage and help them look at what their coverage options are. If someone's already completed their application and perhaps they got stuck, they don't know how to move on, then that navigator can actually go into their account, see where they're stuck at, and help them move through the application awesome. process and get approved. Awesome. Um, what should we know before we start this process? What should we know about ourselves in terms of our own information, what we're likely to need in our insurance coverage? Good question. The one thing you want to know is you want to know your family size. What is your estimated income, mm -hmm. your income for the most recent 30 days? Know your Social Security number. Want to know your kid's birth dates. If someone's self-employed, make sure they have their tax return there because eligibility for someone that's self-employed is based upon their adjusted gross income. Got so it. having that information there will help speed along the process. Do you also need to know what kind of medications you take? Is it that detailed that'll help you get to the right plan? There is. We do have the Smart Plan Finder where you can plug in your providers, you can plug in your medications, and it will show you awesome. which plans show who covers which providers and which medications. But we always encourage people, call your provider if you're thinking of choosing a specific plan. Make sure that they're covered under it mm -hmm. just so you have all the information you need to make a solid choice. Okay, that makes sense. I like that. That's like losing a, using mm -hmm. a filter on any other site that Absolutely. helps you kind of narrow it down. So let's talk about any big changes that people might have to keep in mind this year. So there are a couple of new carriers that have come on the market this year. Most counties will have multiple options for people to choose from, and a majority of folks will actually see lower premiums this year. Oh, good. So we really encourage people, go on, shop, see what plans are available, and really make sure that you're getting the plan that's best for you and your family. Now, if you have a plan that you chose last year off the plan finder and you do nothing, does it just carry over to this year? Many people will be <clears throat> auto-enrolled in that plan for next year. And if there is some reason why that didn't happen for you, you will get a notification. But even if you are auto-enrolled in your plan, you can still go online and really just make sure that is still the plan that you would like to be in. As I said, there are a number of new options this year, and we really just want folks to be in a plan that works for them. Yeah, that might actually make things more competitive. You never know. So, Correct. you know, go and check it out. So the navigators can also, they can ask us questions. If we don't come to with all of the information mm -hmm. that we need because, you know, we don't all know all those things, they can help us get organized, right? It might be more than one session to get you to where you're going. It could be. It could be that we have to follow up with the client because the client doesn't have all the information. One of the really nice things about Health Plan Finder is that the way it's set up, it's set up to verify information without mm -hmm. you not even having it. And so oh, awesome. when we enter that information, 
information. I love that. Right. <laughs> and so a lot of times someone will say, well, I think that's my Social Security number, and we enter the information. The system may come back, and it'll be absolutely right that their Social Security number that they entered was correct. Cool. If they don't bring their pay stubs and we need to follow up, we let Health Plan Finder tell us that we need verification of your income. So it's a very unique tool, um, but if we do need to follow up with that client, we'll be able to follow up with the client so they can come back and get the information. A lot of times we can do that over the phone. So people can enroll via Health Plan Finder. They also, if they go to the kingcounty.gov, king, uh, kingcounty.gov, and they go to the coverage page, mm -hmm. they'll be able to find a list of locations within King County where they can go into enroll, or they can even call over the phone, and we right. can do the enrollments over the phone. So that's cool. If you want to do it on the phone, you can, but if you want to go into the office and sit down with somebody you can see, you can do that as well. Absolutely. I think I'm more the, <laughs> I need to see you for this to work. Thank yeah. you both very Thank much you. for this Thank important you. information. To learn more about your options during open enrollment or to find a navigator to get more help, please visit the website on your screen or just visit the links that we have put up on New Day's webpage to make it super easy.